CFR Network, CFR Sports 1 on Prime Video 3, Lineker versus Andrade. Anticlimactic of sorts end to the main event, but we will we will go there. We will go there. Let's start off with the lead cards. Let's start off with the lead cards. Uh, Leah Bivins taking on, which is her professional debut, United States taking on Noel Grandjean or Grandjean, France and Thailand. Came out to her own track, looking dancing, looking funky and all that, you know, really feeling and getting into an experience in the moment. Uh, round one. Bivins came out striking and it looked very, very, very amateur. No disrespect to the young lady. Um constantly reaching reaching out to tie up and stuff um they didn't use her range uh it was a it was a in, um, in my humble opinion it was a mismatch leah needed to have made her professional debut in not such of a big stage this car this fight in essence should have been on 162 this shouldn't have been on the um the prime prime three. There could have been a plethora of other fights they could have replaced this with. But saying that, no, I look good. Hurts her with a body shot. First round, one minute and two. It was a quick fight, man. One minute, two seconds. Uh body shot landed. Leah was like, forget this. Looked over at Herb and waved her hands as Noel, as she should do as a fighter. She just went for it. I think she hit her with another two or three punch combination before Herb got in and um, <laughs> stopped the fight. Now, question is, and this comes up a lot with the old Herb Dean. I mean, I know he does a lot of fights and stuff, etc., etc. But there seems to be like a running theme with, with Mr. Dean. He either, he's either going way too early or um, he's, he's, he, I don't know what he was doing. She looked directly at him and she was waving her hand like, now this dance is done. Okay. And Herb Dean's prancing around on his tippy toes with his, hand, with his hands in the air, shoulders up like, oh, I'm going to stop this soon, but uh, should I stop? He, the athlete has looked over at you and said, I'm done. Plastic fork time. I'm done. Okay, not even a metal fork. Plastic fork. Me done. So, yeah. Little strange. She kind of half-stopped it and then, you know. Anyway, good victory. Uh, Noelle says she's, she's the there and she's um ready to fight. Put me on the next card. Tetri. Um and let's see what it do. Bantam Wait Muay Thai. Asa or Asa Tempo 12 and 2 took on Mehid Mehida um Zatout from Algeria and he looked real good, man. Real good. Came out wild exchanges. <laughs> um, nasty punches. Um, damage. Um, Ten powers eye. I uh, he, he couldn't answer the second round. The second round, he was like, look, I'm done, man. I'm done. As a result of the excellent victory, Zayuk, who's a veteran, did it the right way and finished off his career on a on a high note. Rather than losing, he said, "Look, let's 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 just take this win. I've been fighting for so long, and uh, retirement 
is uh, was announced. Gloves were put down, photographs were taken. So congratulations on the win, and much success in your future de- um, endeavors. You know, trust re- all of the hard work and dedication um, will pay off outside of your um, your combat fighting career. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's move on. Amir Nasir, Nasiri, even, took on from Iran and Malaysia, featherweight Muay Thai, mm-hmm. Naito, from Japan, unanimous victory, total control from rounds one through to three. Amir turned up mid part of the last round, but way too late. Way too late, uh, senor. Um, if you would have fought like that at the start, it would have been a lot more of a competitive <clears throat> bout. But it was just a shutdown, total shutdown. Naito, as I've as I said, man, he's he's one to look out for, man. He's definitely one to look out for. Um, Jerry Miado took on Daniel Williams, mini T. That was a that was fun fight. Uh, another catch weight bout as well. I might add, early low blow on mini T. Um, both heavy exchanges. Maido gets takedown um, and easily, easily slides into uh, to full mount. Not much damage done. Um, Minity gets dropped again and gets blooded up. So I'm gonna go. So that was a 10 9. Uh e- even though this is a MMA and it's judged on its entirety, this would be a 10 9, maybe even a 10 8. Minity second round um was chewing the hell up out of um Miada's leg. He was chewing it up. Um Whilst he was doing that, mind you, Miata had an answer and he was catching him on the way in. Dropped him again, round two. Round three, 31 seconds. Done. TKO, victory. Congratulations. Um, Danny's got some heart, man. Got some heart. Entertaining guy. Uh, Interesting to see his uh, return. Most defo net lead debuting fighter, the Cobra 12 and 5, taking on Kim J. Woon, the fighting guard, Shamil uh, Gasanoff. Hmm, trading leg kicks. Shamil gets a, like three takedowns, puts the hook in, rear naked choke, round one, dance done. I expected a lot more from the fighting guard still. Uh, yeah, a little disappointed. But he should, trustfully, he can bounce back. He can bounce back. Uh, Shita Chai. Featherweight kickboxing, Mohamed Boussa. Boussa, uh, yeah. Boussa from Morocco, making his uh, debut. Record, let's look at the record. 126 wins, 33 losses, 5 no contests. Taking on 15 and 0. Pretty even in the first round. Nice back and forth. Uh, second round, holy petites. Um, there was like a, a slip slash knockdown, but wasn't counted. Um, she just kind of looked tired, I would say, in the round three. Uh, round, th- round two, round three. Let me rephrase that. He looked tired going back to his um back to his corner for the end of that that second round. Round three started off real strong. Three slips of sorts uh for Mo. Um she decided to swarmed him for the majority of the rounds. Uh excellent fight. And I would say that Mo actually took that last round off. 
he, he was surprised that he didn't get the victory and stuff. I'm real interested to see, interested most definitely to see uh, the next few matchups that he has within one. Inaugural lightweight submission grappling world championship. Cade Rotolo, American, taking on Ula U- Uali. I think that's the right pronunciation. Um, who missed weight and who wasn't a- a- eligible to actually win the damn lightweight submission grappling title. <sighs> Disappointing. I was really impressed with that foot sweep. That early foot sweep that he caught him with uh, was real good, man. Real good. Uh, multiple uh, submission attempts, kind of chokes and stuff from uh, from Cades. But got him with the heel hook in the end to finish to become the inaugural lightweight submission grappling champion of one championship. Uh, it was cool. It was cool. Um, I guess we got to see more of these fights. It's like the fourth event they've done with the uh, grappling. Second with obviously a title <clears throat> implications. Lightweight Muay Thai Championship of the World. Uh, Regan Ursel coming up. New sport to take on Simasa Kim Lee who has been looking like a damn Terminator in his last two fights. Very technical back and forth. Very technical back and forth. Kind of slow pace. Well, he was slow paced because the ref kept on saying, yo, listen, come on. Let's, 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 let's get to work, man. Let's get to work. Um, I understand why he was saying that. I don't know about no yellow card, but, but yeah, there, there needed to be more action. There wasn't it. If Olivier Cost was in there, I'm sure it was I uh, just... Is it Justin his name is? I think, or even Mohamed Suleiman, he, he would have been saying, come on, man, let's get, he would have been properly pushing, like, let's get this, let's get this started. You've had your first round to feed each other out kind of thing. Let's start to throw. This is action. That's what we want. Uh, as I say, technical back and forth. Expected more from both. Mr. Ersel did enough to become a two-sport champion. Split decision victory. Uh, I I think they could run that one back again, most definitely. Uh, I expect, as I said, I expected more out of Mr. Ursel and Simasat. Simasat. Sut. John Lineker, no contest. Ultimately, Fabricio Andrade was kind of stealing the fight, but was getting stung himself. It was a damn shame that the that that illegal blow took place and broke his cop. I've never actually watched a fight where that's taken place. I know it's happened before, quite infrequently of sorts, and that's why there's many people who are, are, are proponents of the steel cops. So there's no way that's um, <laughs> breaking with an illegal blow but yeah um, as predicted Fabricio was doing his thing he was touching him up power on both sides he was using his, his length um, Lenick is a tough so and so and his eye was almost closed I thought there was going to potentially sh- stop that fight um, he's got a heart man got a heart found a way was closing distance was never giving up if that low blow didn't take place that fight would have potentially been finished because that first knee that he got in with Lineker was hurt he was definitely hurt man uh, uh, if it would if that second knee would have just been slightly higher we would have a new and also obviously Mr. Lineker lost his Championship, he was stripped of the title because he lost. He didn't make championship weight by five point five pounds. Absolutely terrible. I don't even know why they do that. They shouldn't strip him. Well, I guess they've got to strip him to give eligibility to his opponent. But it's all crazy. 
he's ultimately still the champion, but technically because he missed weight, he's not. It's it's like um, Charles Oliveira. Yeah, they got to run this one back again. John Lineker was clearly compromised and would not was not able to to uh, to continue after that low blow. Yeah. Thank you for all the athletes, everybody at one. Another excellent way to start the weekend, even though the, the start times are a bit jumbled up on my ends or on the website's end. But anyway, we got to watch it. And what are your thoughts? Like, comment, subscribe, share, most definitely. If you want to go a step further, go over to the old Instagram, Suprema the UK. Check out the merch.